hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while i believe i made a video and i said i'm gonna edit it and didn't get to it so but then i was um on a plane and i started to what do you call go through my videos and i deleted it so i believe oh it might still be my trash though I believe I might have deleted it. I gotta look through. I don't know. So I am so sorry that I haven't been posting. I It's the summer and I know that I've said that I was going to record more. But, you know, um, things happen and I have to, you know, spend time with family and do things with them. And also, um, what is it called? I went to a conference, a women's conference, which was amazing. So, yeah. But anyways, I want to show you so far right now how everything looks. And like I've told you guys before, some things in the summer are not going to make it. And we're not even like in summer, summer. Summer has started, but here in Florida, I believe the hottest time is like um, July and August. So, you know, that is going to be really hot. So we'll see. But anyways, the main um point of this video it's gonna be really quick it is the um uh, monkey tail cactus that i wanted to update you guys but i just wanted to show you guys um some stuff real quick just how like ugh, i repotted so many things and look like look at how amazing this looks and i did a lot of cuttings and they're thriving so yeah but i it might not look like this it could be in a couple weeks in a month it just happens you know so i just try to rescue what i can and what i can't and this like this i repotted it and i split it up and look at how pretty it is it's grown so much this i repotted and look at how happy it is too so many things so many things are looking so good this i did this arrangement a while ago this have these have been growing like crazy so what i do is i cut them back because they're just gonna grow um tall again so yeah, look at this happy little plant right here. She's so happy. So I might have to repot that because I've already repotted it. And then I don't remember what this plant is called, but it has gone crazy, which I don't mind it being crazy over there. So yeah, this is a plant that grows like these big flowers that have like a cup inside. Hopefully I get to see it bloom and I'll show you what it is. So yeah, I have so many things uh, that I have repotted and are doing well. I don't know if I've ever showed you my variegated um, Hoya. This one too. I do propagate this and sell it on Facebook for pickup. So I do do that. Look at this beautiful thing real quick. Look at how crazy that is. But anyways, let me show all oh, this too. I, it was in the front porch and because we're painting the house, I had to take everything off the front porch. And um i took advantage and pretty much repotted this whole thing and also um had to do many cuttings and re you know like transplant them but it looks good i think uh, it's already rooted it's been a while yeah this is something too that i trimmed i noticed that this one does tend to these type of plants do tend to um bend down and cascade so it is normal for them to drape down eventually they'll drape down these were on the front porch that's why you don't see them very often so they're back here right now um because like i said i had to take a lot of things out of there and um what's it called because we're painting so they're here i might keep them back here i'm not sure i have to think about what i'm gonna do to the front porch and then let me just show you this beauty over here that's flowering real quick look at that beauty this one is called um something raspberry it's a huernia stapelia raspberry something like that charlie's running right now and right here i can tell you that i'm probably gonna lose this little piece these plants do that a lot i it's very hard to figure out where they're happy i'm constantly moving them to see where they're gonna be happy this plant like come on it has exploded here i this plant was originally inside my home and it would and it had grew a lot so i just trimmed all of it and stuck it out here just to see what would happen and it blew up and it blew up so i'm very proud of that um let me see what else i also use it for cuttings to propagate so what i'm doing is i'm out here with this bin and i just 
you know go around picking up okay here is my original monkey cactus that i cut this was the mom plant and here i have this one and this piece i took it out the greenhouse because i had a shade cloth in there and because it was not getting sun till like around 12. Uh, i think that this is why it was um, growing a little thin so I decided to bring it out here because this starts getting sun sooner and obviously it won't be filtered sun but it's not also um, it's not one o'clock sun you know so it's not harsh sun here's another one um, this was a original piece you know like the end of it now this would be a cutting so we're looking for little shoots to come out here i'm gonna show you one that's doing that remember this was one long piece and i did a bunch of pieces so here is um here it is and look i already have one there so eventually all these will shoot out little pieces like this and i'll fill it in um so yeah that's doing good i did sell one and i explained to them you know now obviously these are cuttings and you'll get shoots like this and they were like yep i want it so i sold it in it was really inexpensive because it you know i don't know i had a hard time pricing it because of the way it looked and then also you know i couldn't promise that it was gonna which i but i'm pretty sure i was just pretty sure that it was gonna grow like that but i didn't want to promise that it would grow like that you know i did tell her if you have any issues bring it back but I'm sure she, it's been a while. She hasn't told me anything. And I'm sure if mine is growing, hers is growing as well. If, she, you know, if she's taking care of it. So, yeah. But, um, look, these were looking so nice. But after the rain and sun, look. So, but these were full. These were full. Now, I'm, I'll am i look to see if I see a video of it. I'll have to cut it and um, restart it again just so that. You know it looks good or maybe i'll wait i can wait for cool temperatures to cut it and restart again if it doesn't eventually die so those are some decisions that i do make sometimes um, and then like again we'll get some fungus around here and things rot or you know so many different things so yeah you just gotta accept the fact that it's gonna happen at least for me here in florida i compete a lot with um you know the rain and humidity let me show you this beauty i don't think i've shown you guys this um this fountain a friend of mine was getting it give, um getting rid of it for, oh my goodness i can't speak getting rid of it so i gladly jumped on it so yeah it looks really cute then i put this plant and it's like it's so happy where it is so yeah this is um, what i did i put a pot inside of it so I think it looks really good. There's a little spider there, but I'm not gonna bother it because it'll catch whatever bugs. But this is so happy. This really, this plant here really likes water. I just love the way it looks. Look at how cute it is. I'm such a sucker for cute little things like snails and and mushrooms and little gnomes. I love little gnomes and snails and mushrooms. So, anyways, so other than that, everything's looking good. Uh, look at my tree. It's growing. It's filling up. It's been raining a lot. So yeah, she's doing so good Let me show you what her leaves look like um, without here. I'll go down here Oh, and I, it's very easy to propagate. I already have one inside growing inside with um, water and she's already got roots and leaves So it's very easy to grow So um, I do have that um, I'm probably gonna pot it up soon and see what happens with it i might also try to um resell it on facebook and we'll see so yeah um let me see what else oh um i'm going to see if i can take a screenshot i'm gonna be done with this video of what this plant used to look like remember when i redid this um when i not redid this but when i did this i took this plant out of something and it looked yellow because it had already outgrew the paw and the um roots you know we're just not getting the enough nutrients that it need so when you have a plant that's really yellow there's still a chance that it can come back like this came back with full force look at how big this thing is this was supposed to be like um some type of crested i think plant and it's already it's shooting straight up um 
whatever you want to call that it's just it's original what it's supposed to look like that's what it's starting to grow like so yeah this one is so nice too so yep i just wanted to share that with you guys is that a bug yeah that's a bug okay oh this one look this one's gonna flower and if i'm if i um remember correctly it was a pink flower oh guys do you remember how ugly this plant was because of a disease you can see that the main plant is going to stay scarred you know it was not going to turn pretty but the pups all came through i just kept spraying it regularly and all the pups are covering now the ugliness of the mom plant so yeah i did pull out a plant here that was not making it it was just not doing good so i pulled it out uh, i don't know if i'll leave that one there to take off i was thinking about putting one of these in there i'm not sure i have other cactus too that i can put in there this plant is also the same plant as that one because um i remember that i did that okay so i guess that's it guys for now i'm so sorry i haven't been posting um like i said it's just been busy but um yeah and the house is getting painted obviously we have not painted this side yet we've worked not we my husband my dear husband has been doing all the hard work of painting the house um so the main of the house um the main front of the house is painted and now he's working his way back here but yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and have a blessed day bye guys